how do this year's protests compare to past Olympic controversies? Ed Huller has been covering the Games for more than 15 years and he joins us from CNN Centre in Atlanta. He is the editor of Around the Rings, a website dedicated to all things Olympic. Ed, good to get you on the show with us tonight. So first of all, have you ever seen quite so much fuss in the run-up to an Olympic Games before? Never like this, uh, with this political tension over the Chinese political issues that's that spilled over into the torch relay. And in the past, these torch relays, generally domestic affairs, not international, international events, but they've been uh, relatively quiet, celebratory affairs, otherwise um, a fun thing, something that helps build interest in the Olympic Games. But this time, a uh, torch relay has been very controversial, and it uh, perhaps is focusing uh, the wrong kind of attention on the Olympics that China and the uh, International Olympic Committee would, would like to see. Yeah, and Pakistan and China are obviously uh, close diplomatic friends, as we well know. Uh, Pakistan is where the torch is right now. And that country has uh, really pulled out all the stops to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch. But what's your take on Pakistan's decision to hold their ceremony, the torch relay ceremony, behind closed doors? Well, it just you, there's a saying that says you can't hide your light under a bushel, and that's exactly what's happening here in Pakistan hiding your light in a stadium. The, the torch relay is supposed to be a people's event, something that generates excitement and enthusiasm for the Olympic Games. And frankly, I, I think uh, it's very difficult to see how that can be done with a, with a closed ceremony such as this, invited guests only, and then 60-odd runners making the same circuit ar around a stadium. Uh, it just defeats the purpose of, of the torch relay being a way to reach out to people and uh, make people want to uh, see more and hear more about the Olympics. Still, though, uh, as we've seen in the last hour or two, that uh, everything in Pakistan has gone off extremely smoothly. Do you think, therefore, with the threat of um, upheaval, I guess, so profound, that we might see more of these torch relay ceremonies being held away from public scrutiny? Well, we will see what happens in a couple of days when it comes to New Delhi, which is a... I think uh, another p potential flashpoint for the torch relay, given the large expatriate population of uh, Tibetans in, in, in India. Uh, Canberra, Australia, another potential hotspot in the, in the next week. So it's, it, it's not over yet uh, for the torch relay's international uh, attention, and we could see shortening of the, the route's containment of the event to help make it a more secure event. How do you think that China has handled all the anger directed at it so far? Well, it's not lashed out, um, and perhaps that's maybe the best response. It's tried to be measured, at least in its uh, external responses. Uh, there hasn't been someone at every stop in the torch relay condemning the critics of China. They've pretty much let it roll off their backs and continue with the relay. Uh, that's probably the best way for them to handle it, not to get into arguments, not to uh, polarize this event anymore uh, and try to, try to make the torch relay uh, the event that it is supposed to be. Certainly in China, based on my own experience being there in the past week while the torch relay has been underway, uh, the Chinese people are getting a very limited perspective about the dissent, about the commotion that the torch relay is causing. So within China, it's one story. Outside of China, I think the, uh, the Olympic uh, leaders have reacted with, with calm and uh, with, uh, with, with careful, careful measurement of their words. How do you think that the politics and the protests are going to be seen by the athletes who have dedicated their lives to their sport, Ed? But, you know, nobody really seems to be talking about sport at this point. We, are, uh, we have some of our reporters covering the U.S. Olympic Committee media summit that's taking place in Chicago this week. It's uh, several hundred journalists from around the United States, uh, more than 100 athletes. And the journalists keep asking questions of the athletes. What about Beijing? What about the politics? Are, are you concerned about this? Do you have gripes against China? And, and more and more we're hearing from the athletes that they're really interested in focusing on the Olympics. There are some who, who, do, have, who do have feelings, who do have stands that uh, involve China and human rights issues or Darfur, for example. But even those athletes are saying that the 
big thing for them in Beijing is not to make a political statement, but it's to perform to their best level as an athlete in the Olympic Games.